This is the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 26. Red letter, and it reads, If any man come to me, and hate not his father, and mother, and wife, and children, and brethren, and sisters, yeah, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach one of Wuwa who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akiam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the awkward listening, listening and learning, Shalom Wam. It's your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin camp here in Toronto with another lesson. And uh, we'll get right into it. Some scriptures on, on counting the cost, right? The cost of discipleship, man. Right? The cost of being in this truth. And it's not for every man. Luke 14, verse 26. Red letter, our Lord. Out of one. Yahweh Shai. Hamashiach. He said this. The deliverer of the children of, 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 of the children of Israel. Luke 14, verse 26. And it reads. If any man come to me. And hate not his father. And mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yeah, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple, right? So, things of the world. That all comes second, man. His truth comes first. Right? Your household, your, 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 your woman. Right? That, that, that doesn't say be a tyrant. Right? But this truth comes first. We still take care of our children and our and our and our and our and our and our wife. You know? But this truth comes first. Nothing is supposed to hinder or come in the way of this truth. I wanted to get a scripture. Um Sirach 3, or is it 4? Sirach 4, I think it's in 4. It might be in 3. That scripture about being a tyrant in your own house. Sirach chapter 4, verse 30. Be not as a lion in thy house, nor frantic among thy servants. Right? So, the scripture, when you see the scripture, he that hateth wife and brethren, children, right? It, it doesn't mean being a, a lion in your house, being a, being a tyrant in your house, being, a, being a, 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 a dictator in your household, man. You know? We still take care of what we got to take care of, but this truth comes first. Luke 14, verse 27. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my, dis cannot be my disciple, right? Bear his cross. Each of us have our own individual walk, right? Laden with afflictions, tribulations, right? We, we got to bear that. Right, so rock seven. Let's get that. We each have our own individual walk. 
second edge for seven. Second edge for seven, verse six. There is also another thing. A city is builded and set upon a broad field and it's full of good field, Salakia, and it's full of good things, right? That's the kingdom. The entrance thereof is narrow and it's set in a dangerous place to fall like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left, a deep water, right? The path into the kingdom is rough, man. It's not an easy walk. Acts 14 and 22, Acts 14 verse 22 says, through much tribulation, we must enter into the kingdom of the kingdom of heaven. Roughly paraphrasing. Right, it's not an easy walk. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. And and one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once, right? One man go there at once. We each in this truth have an individual walk. Right? Two men can't go two men can't go through this this walk side by side. Scripture say scriptures say work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Right? Count the costs. Verse eight. Salakia like verse nine. And it, verse nine. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he, how shall he receive this inheritance, right? And that's a cut on, on plantation Christianity. They believe if you just believe, you're saved. It's not so, man. It's not a it's not a it's not a it's not a skate, it's not a cakewalk into the kingdom. And the kingdom is only for Israelites. Israel being a people before a place. Beginning with the elect, two thirds got to die on this side, death by pain, and come in through the loins of the elect in the kingdom. Luke 14, verse 28 For which of you intending to build a tower sitteth not down first and counteth the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it, right? Some people are in this truth and they don't realize, they don't understand what they're involved in. Right? And as soon as affliction comes, or offense comes, offense, Salakia, or affliction comes, they fall out. Right? Yeah, how was I saying? Who, 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 who sitteth not down first and counteth the cost? You got to know what you're involved in. Right? Verse 29. Lest haply after he hath laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him. Right? And that's likened unto falling out of this truth. <clears throat> not being able to finish. Verse 30. Seeing this man began to build and was not able to finish. Right? Once again, counting the costs. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta endure in this thing, and finish. Right, everything of the world t t t takes a back seat, man. We gotta push, endure, do the work, keep the commandments to the best of our ability. Be charitable. To brothers in the truth, charitable by doing the works. Elder Apostle Raka went in that today, man. Right? Charity is also doing the work. Right? But when you're in this walk, when you're in this truth, everything that used to interest you when you're in the world. No longer, no longer has, no longer interests you. Philippians three, verse seven, it reads, "But what things were gained to me, 
those I countered loss for our Mashiach, right? And this is Paul speaking, right? This is likened to us in this truth, man. What, what used to be gained to us in the world, man, is now a lot. We, we don't care about it no more, right? We still got to use the world as not abusing it. We still got to punch Esau's clock, right? But our life is not, our life is not focused around that. Verse 8, yeah, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, my Lord, out of one, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, right? And you come to this truth, you're going to lose things, man. You're going to lose things when you come to this truth. You are going to lose things. Right? And those that don't count the cost, that you start losing things, they, they fall out because they're offended. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things, right? For this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding. For your house, I supping with you, right? You suffer the loss of all things. And you count them but dung that I may win Hamashiach, right? It's all shit. Dung is shit. None of it matters. Right? And that's the walk. Right? And when you first come to the truth, the beginning, it's, glad, it's you know, it's sweet. Right? And then reality sets in. The walk sets in. What you got to go through sets in. And then it becomes bitter. Revelation 10, verse 9. This is a vision of John the Revelator. Revelation 10 verse 9. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. Right? The book is the scriptures. Right? This knowledge is wisdom, this understanding. And it shall make thy belly bitter, but, at, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. Right? So when you first come in, this truth is sweet, man. Right? It's a great thing to learn your Israelite. But as you walk, as you progress in your walk, it becomes bitter. Right? The tangibles of the world. Your woman, your children, your job. Your materialistic things that you, you used to place emphasis on. The rat race. The hamster wheel. Whatever sins you're committing, <clears throat> verse ten. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Right. And it's like that. It's like that every single time. For every for every brother that comes in the street, you wake up in this truth. Every aquath, every akiam that wakes up into this the, 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 this this truth. It's sweet and becomes bitter. Right? But you got to endure, man. All right, let's close out. Romans 12. Verse 1, and it reads, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Right? Our bodies a living sacrifice. Right? We're going to suffer in this truth. We're going to lose things. Worldly things. Holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Right? The renewing of your mind. You become a new creature. The old man gets put off. The old man gets put away. It's impossible to, juggle, it's impossible to bring the old man into this truth. It's impossible to, 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 to juggle the old man with the new man. It's impossible to fake it. Because the spirit will reveal you. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai.
Stay prayed up, pray without ceasing. You know? It's it's gonna get darker and darker. You know, Esau Esau's gonna start Esau's tightening the vice grip, man. Right? Shalom to the hopeful elect.